Like Tiger could get a card if he wants to, but you know he's never gonna take it, you know, because that's who he is. Yeah. And it's like selfishly, I'm like getting the damn card. Deep down, what are your goals? I've never looked really more than three to five years out, but I mean, I think the next one obviously is to win on tour and win a major. Um, and then from there, reassess. I've had one goal, it hasn't been like the big, grandiose, long-term, like once I do this, I'm done. You know, it's like, okay, the next one's to win a major. Going down is one of the greatest ever. Are those the sorts of goals that I mean, you it's, think it's subjective. I mean, that part too, I mean, Tiger's won 82 times on tour and you can still make the argument that Jack Nicklaus is the greatest player of all time. Who do you think is? Tiger's dominance is tough to argue against. I mean, it's it's different eras, and they're the first ones to say it too. I mean, the fact that I can't even define what being the greatest player ever is, and it's like, why would I, you know, like, and some guys would say, like, well, it's, you know, make it convincing, like win more than 82 times and win 18 majors. I'm like, it's a little hard to do now. That's not to discredit any of the guys that came before us. It's just that, I mean, 15 years ago, not everyone had trainers, like not everyone had sports psychologists. Most people just had one coach. So now it's like, you know, you hop in the gym and the tr or hop in the trailer on the PGA Tour and there's, you struggle for space because there's 15 guys in there. Tiger's built like a tight end. I mean, he's enormous. I mean, Tiger literally is, like his upper body is, like he's just a massive human. And no one's built like that out there on tour. Like he's the one. I, I would love to play with Tiger at least once before he's done done. Yeah. Just to do it. And I know that that would be an amazing experience because even at the PGA, like I played in front of him the first two days, we had more people with us because the people would come up to our group to follow us so they, they could get a better look when Tiger rolls through <laughs> than I was in the final group on Saturday. What's the likelihood you get to play with him? I mean, that's, that's it. That's up to him. I mean, I think obviously, you know, the part that amazes me is that he just has such a hard time walking, but man, he can still play some good golf. Like Tiger could get a card if he wants to, but you know, he's never going to take it, you know, because that's who he is. Yeah. And it's like selfishly, I'm like, dude, get in the cart. I'm going to play with you. <laughs> like, you know, I want to see you in your fit. You know, I want to see you when you're 50. You've proven people wrong countless times, like even coming back from injuries. And I'm like, get in the damn cart. It's amazing to see like people say like, oh yeah, the tiger effect, like he is the needle. He doesn't move the needle, you know? And right. then it's like, okay, yeah, I get, I get it. And then all of a sudden I see it in person for the first time while I'm playing and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it, it's just, it's insane. Do you have his number where you could just text him and ask to play? No, I don't. Um, you know, is that something you'd even feel comfortable doing if you had his number? Yeah, I probably would. I, you know, just, I mean, I know Tony has it, and he's just one of those guys where it's like, I never want to pry his space because I just have so much respect for how much he did even for me, and he doesn't even know me, that it's just like, like I was actually laughing at the PGA this year because he's standing on the tee and he didn't have a, wasn't playing with anybody, and I was going to play with another buddy, and, he, Tiger was staying on the team and said, hey, do you guys want to go? I'm like, you want to come? <laughs> like, I didn't say it, but I was like, okay, yeah, you, Tiger tells me to go, I'm going, I got it. Do you regret not saying if you want to come? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I think um, my buddy actually turned him down. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, how can you <laughs> say, like, like, I'm sorry. Like, hey, I appreciate you trying to stick with me and like, you know, play with me, but I gotta be honest with you, the feeling's not mutual. <laughs> so if you ask Tony for his number, do you think he'd give it to you? I think what I would probably do is I would tell Tony, hey, we're both playing the same week. If you wouldn't mind texting Tiger to play, and then if Tiger asked for my number, he'd ask for it. I definitely wouldn't be like, hey, give me Tiger Woods' number. He'd be no? like, he'd be like uh, I'm gonna ask Tiger first. Or it'd be like, <laughs> You idiot, you're doing it wrong. I'm like, thank you, Tony. It's kind of fun, because, you know, like, at the British, or I guess the Open Championship, Tiger came by and he like, you know, like, smacked him on the backside and was like, hey, great playing, buddy. And I'm like, or no, he said, great playing, Willie. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, I know him.